Lake State Governor Babajide Songolu has commissioned three networks of roads in Victoria Island Central Business District. They are the Adola Hopewell, Ido Taylor, and Afribank Church Streets. Governor Songolu is optimistic that the roads would not only aid connectivity and traffic, but would also boost the economic growth in that axis. Plus TV Lagos State Government House correspondent Ikuku Love Oyedokun has details on this report. This is phase one of the urban regeneration program of the Songulu administration. The three roads were approved for reconstruction in the year 2020. The former ring right in the heart of the highly commercialized area of Victoria Island. They are respected to discharge traffic through Sanusi Fafuan Street into the famous Akin Adishola Street. Governor Sawoli noted that the commission in the rules clearly demonstrates the audacious reforms carried out in critical sectors of the state's economy. Again, this is in line with the state's development agenda. The completion of this road validates our promise to improve the quality of life of all Lagosians, promote massive social economic growth, and reciprocate the support that we have enjoyed from this constituency in the past three years. Of these three roads being commissioned today, Adiola Hopewell, Afi Bank, and Ido Taylor. Two are one-way road, which is Adiola Hopewell and Afi Bank. And Ido Taylor, it's a two-way street. The governor promised to ensure that all axes of the state enjoy the current administration's plan to develop the state. He then appealed to Lagosians to support his government towards achieving a traffic-free state in line with the planned intermodal transport system. The governor reminded the residents that the project belongs to them. Residents must safeguard and ensure proper usage and protection of the infrastructure to ensure long-lasting service. Doing this will free up government resources so that we can do a lot more. I know that with the support of the community leaders and people in New Victoria Island, the sustainability of this road is certainly guaranteed. And it's important for us to note that we're not just doing this in Hydro, Victoria Island alone. We're doing it, like we said, in almost all nooks and crannies of the state. It speaks to the fact that we engage and we listen to the specific needs of the citizenry in their quest for infrastructural upgrade. Prior to the reconstruction of these strategic roads, they were in deployable state with a lot of complaints by the business community as it relates to the perennial flooding, the inadequate parking facilities, the unlit roads, the reduced carriageway width. It is the hope of many that with the road rehabilitation and upgrade, the challenge of flooding and inadequate capacity will now become a thing of the past. From Lagos, Love Ikuku Oyedoku for Plus TV, Africa. These are public assets that everybody must take care of. Thank you. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.